Okay, so what we've done here today is we've been clearing the trees on the opposite bank of this cutting because as they've grown larger they've presented a hazard to the railway line. Our last tree that we have to pull down today is leaning away from us towards the property in the background. Now we can't just cut it down and let it fall that way because it's going to fall over and break the fence and then our excavator won't be able to uh, retrieve it from the top of the bank. So what we've done is we've sent a climber up into the tree and the climber has secured the rope as high as he can go. We've put the rope back down to the opposite side of the railway through a pulley system at the base of this stump. At the top of this rope we've got a non-slip prussic. The prussic is a knot that as you pull on it tighter it becomes tighter so it's a non-slip non knot. And we've fed another rope through a four to one pulley system. At the top here we have two pulleys. And at the bottom we have another two pulleys at the base of that stump. What that basically does is it gives the person pulling this system four times the amount of power. By feeding the rope through the pulleys four times, you can stand well out of the fall zone in an off safe area. Pull the tree in the direction you want it to come. And that will pull that tree in the direction you want it to fall safely and in a controlled manner. That way you've got a lot more control when you're felling the tree. And the person standing in the near the fall zone is well clear and out of harm's way. So what I'll do now is I'll go over to the opposite bank and make a f uh, film with Sash. You can see how it all comes together. Okay, so I'm on the opposite bank now. And from here you can see a much better view of the tree and how it's leaning back towards the top fence. And obviously on the opposite bank I was just on, you can see our pulley system. And Ben's there. Say hi, Ben. Ready to uh, pull the tree when needed. As you can see, the bank's quite steep. So, you can see here's some of the other trees that we've already taken out. How you going there, Sarge? Good, Ben. Right, so what Sarge has done here is he's prepared the tree for felling by inserting his scarf cut. That there, what he's gonna do then, he's gonna, once he's done this, he's gonna um, put his back cut through a little bit higher than his scarf and leave just a little bit of wood in the middle so the tree's got something to hinge off. By taking this section of wood out here it allows the tree a little bit of space to fall into as it falls. So you ready to do the back cut Sarge? Yes Ben. Yep. Ben's ready with the pulley system. Here we go. Alright I'm in a better position. Everyone's ready. Sarge is ready to put the back cut in. We've got a lot of tension on that rope in the top of the tree. Ben's at the ready to pull it down as the back cut goes through. And you'll see now that if Ben pulls on that rope, you can see how much the tree is moving. And it's not even ready to fall. You ready, Sash? Yep, go for it. Earmuffs on. The back cut is the most dangerous part of the operation. Sasha has to constantly check and recheck the top of the tree for any unwanted movement. If he takes too much of the hinge wood out, the tree could go into an uncontrolled fall, killing anyone in its fall zone. The back cut is in. It's time for me to go over to the other bank and help Ben pull the tree over. Ready?
Hold it there for a sec. Yep. One, two, three. As Ben and I increase the tension on the felling rope, Sasha's back cut opens up less than a millimetre at a time. To prevent the tree from falling back on itself and losing ground, Sasha drives a plastic wedge deep into the back cut with each pull, helping us bring the tree over. During this stage, it is imperative that the three of us work well together as a team, maintaining eye contact and using hand signals the whole time whilst the tree falls. There you go, how's that? Firing. <laughs> and that's how he fell trees at Downer. <laughs>